Ladies and gentlemen, Boston Globe, could Donald Trump really be the next House Speaker? ABC News, could Donald Trump be the Speaker of the House? Newsweek, how Donald Trump could become Speaker of the House. CNN, Matt Gates keeps pushing Donald Trump for House Speaker. We're going to talk about in this segment how Trump could be nominated or become, essentially he's already become Speaker of the House with a de facto Speaker in Matt Gates and other Trump Republicans. I've spoken about that. Newsweek talked about that. I am so blessed and so privileged and so happy to have out of 200 comments, and even people email me, H.A. Goodman, your latest coverage on the House uh, Speaker battle for House Speaker has been phenomenal. So I thank you for the people who've emailed me and given me compliments. I've gotten... 1,200 subscribers in the past three days since I've been giving my analysis on what could take place and what is taking place and this kind of horse race where Jim Jordan is ahead and then Steve Scalise and then maybe now it's Trump. And so I'm giving scenarios and I'm giving uh, explanation and analysis on what could happen. Now, it's not very... This isn't like really interesting to most of humanity, but it's exciting and it's intriguing and it's awesome for everyone watching. I thank you so very much. And I have to say for the one or two people out of 200 comments who say, you've gone from Jim Jordan to Steve Scalise to, to um, uh, By uh, Byron Donalds to, um, uh, yeah, it's that's because Kevin McCarthy hasn't been chosen yet and anyone could become speaker and anyone can lead now in the speaker in the in the in the battle for speaker of the house. So I'm going to continue to sh to explain and in this segment I am explaining how Trump could become speaker of the house. If you read all the titles they're very honest, very forthright. Read the entire thing, okay? So for the one or two people who say out of a thousand plus in the past couple of days and emails that te people telling me that they love my coverage, for the, for the one or two people, I'm unsubbing! I want you to stay. Don't unsub. If you don't like my analysis or my viewpoint, there's always Fox News or CNN or other uh, very accurate... Uh, publications who thought that Clinton would win in a landslide when I said Clinton would lose when I was writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, and now The Federalist and other publications. God bless you all. This is fantastic. Hit subscribe right now. Every day at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. we have videos on this channel. This is how Trump can become Speaker of the House, Okay. And the knock on me, which is hilarious, was that on the left, really quickly, then they say, oh, well, H.A. Goodman thought this is how Bernie could win. It's like, well, actually, he stated that he was going to battle. Unlike Bernie Sanders, the Trump Republicans now are battling. So you should be very proud of Matt Gates and uh, Chip Roy, uh, who, who nominated Byron Donalds today, okay? And if Byron Donalds and Chip Roy and Jim Jordan eventually get behind Donald Trump, and I think that could happen. It could happen, ladies and gentlemen, in a week or two weeks. If this goes on, and it very likely won't, it very likely will get wrapped up within the next week or two, within the next... Kevin McCarthy could win it because he has 200... Um, he has 200 Republicans already... He has two. He has, you have to get two eighteen. Okay, it's dicey because right now it's two twelve Democrats. If you get six defectors, you could get Hakeem Jeffries or Pelosi as a speaker. That is unlikely, although anything is possible now. Kevin McCarthy. People do not want Kevin McCarthy. Okay, the twenty Republicans. Now he lost another one, so it's twenty one people now. Don't want Kevin McCarthy. If that goes to thirty. If that goes to 40, it can go to 50 or 60 people who don't want McCarthy if another name like Steve Scalise. Steve Scalise is a name, a person that people who don't want McCarthy and people who do want McCarthy like. So here's the political calculus. 
have to just tell you the political calculus here. So this is the importance of these segments, okay? And they're, I think, entertaining, but also informative. Okay, for like 99% of the people watching. Okay, but I'm too sensitive. And of course, you will always remember the one person. I'm on shopping! Why? Because I explained that Jim Jordan was in the lead. Okay, I don't want to get into it. The point is... And thank you for the new 1,000-plus subs in the past two days who've subscribed. God bless you. Stay here. I'm giving some good analysis. What could happen is that Trump could be recruited, just like Jim Jordan could have been. He doesn't want to. He's in the House Judiciary Committee, and he's going to impeach Biden along with James Comer of the House Oversight Committee. That's He's passionate about the House Judiciary Committee. Okay. What could take place is that Trump could be recruited or could be brought into the fold, into the mix, because everything is in a state of flux now. I don't know if McCarthy's going to wrap it up tomorrow, and I don't know if uh, Byron Donald could wrap it up. Jim Jordan could. Steve Scalise is technically (laughs) tied right now, although not with votes, but he's technically tied with Jim Jordan because Steve Scalise has a Republican... um, he, he is the Republican whip, and so he is a high-ranking official in the Republican Party. <coughs> Excuse me. He's a high-ranking official within the Republican Party, and what can take place is the following. Um, you can have Steve Scalise be recruited. You can have Donald Trump be recruited if it doesn't, if Steve Scalise doesn't overtake McCarthy and they and it's the eleventh hour, and they need somebody, anybody, to just rally everyone, uh, everyone, all all two hundred and twenty two Republicans, which Trump could do, if he decided to become Speaker of the House, if enough Republicans demanded that of him, that could possibly be the case. Then he could have somebody to delegate all the daily tasks to, who would be a, not only a de facto speaker, but the ass- essentially the speaker of the house. But he would be the speaker of the house, perhaps, um, as, the, as the official position, and then he could delegate responsibility to um, in, in the Freedom Caucus or o- others within the House of Representatives. Okay, that's one option that's very much in play, I think, because anything is in play now. When people say, well, that's not... Um, sometimes I've gone out on a limb. I haven't been right, but a lot of times, most of the analysis have been, has been spot on. And I'm explaining to you that nothing should be expected. Expect the unexpected when it comes to this. Okay? Because most people thought that McCarthy would be already wrap, wrapped it up. I was telling you McCarthy isn't going to wrap it up, and it's going to take a, a, a while. And it's going to take a lot of back and forth and in this third and second and fourth and fifth and sixth rounds, he's lost six rounds. If he loses seven, eight, and nine tomorrow, it's a whole new ball game. They might have to recruit Trump because then you have one or two Republicans who are already talking with Democrats, or one in particular. Okay, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but there's one Republican that has floated the eye. And I have no clue. And he's in a red state too, which makes no sense to me. Okay, but see again, that's why this is a very good thing. This is a very good thing because you want Trump Republicans to completely take over the House of Representatives because in terms of value system, you want people who are against never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts, against wars, against military interventions, and you want people who want to bring back record low poverty in terms of the economy. So we had a a record low poverty in 2019 with Trump, and we we were much safer and more influential on the world stage with Trump. And so we want that back. So that is exactly why that's the philosophy against McCarthy. If McCarthy eventually wins, it's not, don't think it's all for naught and, you know, it's a bad thing. The Trump Republicans or the Freedom Republicans or the Republican Party has told McCarthy that everything must go through Donald Trump, Matt Gates, uh, Chip Roy, um, 
Steve Scalise, Andy Biggs, everything must go through Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene. This is not the Republican Party anymore of Mitt Romney. And that's what's taking place right now. It's a sim- not just symbolic, but there is symbolism here. The symbolism is that it's not Paul Ryan's Republican Party and it never will be. It, it will never, the Republican Party will never go back to the Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld, Lincoln Project Republicans. And that's what the importance of all of this is. Okay? And I'm giving different scenarios because people really enjoy it. And and people, lo- like, I'm getting, getting emails saying they love these segments. So I thank you so very, very much. God bless you all. Left, right, center, doesn't matter. God bless you. I'll be back in a couple of hours. We sh- I should have a live stream tonight. But Trump could definitely be recruited if by next week or two weeks from now, there's still no Speaker of the House. And one of the Freedom Republicans stated that it could take six months. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. And be uh, subscribe also to H.A. Goodman's other channel right now. I had two segments, important segments today. Those are below in the pinned comment. To my new Patreons, thank you so very much. You're awesome. Again, I, the support that I've been getting when I've been doing these, this analysis has been tremendous. And I get sensitive sometimes when it comes to people who, who are, I don't know. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Thank you.